So did you know that the zones where you place your cards can actually really matter in Yu-Gi-Oh? For example, with the Mech Knight archetype, all of its monsters can special summon themselves to a column that has two or more cards in it. That means that if you summon a monster and then set a spell or trap card directly behind it, you'll actually be making a Mech Knight player's job a lot easier because they'll be able to special summon their monsters completely for free to those zones. Also, with infinite impermanence, if it's already been set when it was activated, it will negate any spell cards or trap cards that activate in the same column that it was in. This means that your opponent could use infinite impermanence to negate one of your monsters, and if you're not careful and try to use a spell or trap in that same column later, it'll get negated completely for free. And lastly, there are some Link monsters like Relinquished Anima or Geonator Transverser that actually specifically interact with monsters that they're pointing to. If you know that your opponent's playing these cards, as you expect that they might be, make sure that you keep the zones where you place your monsters in mind and be careful.